Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. So on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I installed this hot and cold faucet on the outside of my RV. And there was one here already. It was this crappy thing. So I bought my RV uh, used and someone had just tried to put silicone around this to seal it up. The door flap wouldn't stay shut. It was the, the latch thing was broken and along with that this check valve was broken as well so I really didn't get any more than a trickle out of it so I decided to put in hot and cold running water on the outside and this is really handy if you have a dog because you can give them a nice bath get the temperature at a decent temperature so that you're not just freezing them out I don't like to do that to my dog so yeah, this, this makes it real nice to uh, to wash your dog or, or wash anything that you have outside. So, um, I'll show you how the inside looks. So here on the inside of the unit, you can see the water lines coming in. Now, this one is the cold over here, and there's already a cold line here uh, for the previous connection, but I had to modify it because it wasn't in the correct location. So I cut off the PEX tubing and added a piece down in there and made it uh, the proper connection. Now, of course, the hot. Now, there's a hot down below that drain line there. No way to get to that. So I ran the hot line over to under the sink. And right there it is. It just connects in here under the sink, runs right over. Just a short piece of PEX. And we have it all connected right up there. So nice easy connection the most difficult thing was getting this thing centered because if you remember on the outside of the rv there is an outlet out there and on the inside there's this wall so i had to see first of all if it would fit and it does so it had to be spaced exactly right to fit in that space also if you're going to install one of these make sure there's no studs because you don't want to cut through a stud in, in your sidewall so no studs in this area. And of course I measured it and got the housing for the faucet right against that wall on the inside. And that allowed me just a little bit of space between this and the receptacle on the outside, uh, which is fine. So the other one I figured was only, you know, two or three inches from the receptacle. What does it matter if this one's just a little bit closer? Um, so. That's uh, what I decided to do here. I guess you could mount this uh, vertically if you wanted to. I've seen them that way on RVs. I really didn't want to do a vertical mount on this. I, I just think it looks better horizontal. So since I was able to mount it horizontally, that's what I did. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the install. Now in my cabinet, fortunately, everything was just screwed together. So it was very easy to take everything apart. So I have three drawers in here. This is the top one, it's the bottom one. There was one right here. And it was very easy to unscrew. The, the pieces in the back just had two screws in and then one screw on the side of each of these. And uh, all I have to do now is just screw that back in, put my drawers in and I'm good to go. So uh, yeah. Okay, so I should mention, if you're gonna do a project like this where you're installing something uh, in the sidewall of your RV, you do wanna check for studs. I mentioned it just a moment ago, I'll mention it again. One way to do that is on the inside, since especially since my project, it was in a cabinet. I cut away the plywood on the inside, that inside wall panel, peeled it out of there and checked for any kind of studs. I peeled the foam out, didn't find any studs. So I knew I was good to go. If I would have found a stud, well, then I could have, uh, you know, decided what to do from there. If I was able to do this or not, you don't want to cut through the studs. Not a good idea. So, um, but anytime you're cutting uh, anything like this in the side of your RV, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing. Check for studs, check for any wires, plumbing, anything else like that in your sidewall as well. All right. So I want to thank you for watching. Again, this was a great project. It'll be real handy for uh, washing the dog or washing uh, whatever you want to outside with some nice hot and cold running water. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and uh, happy travels. We'll see you on down the road.